Hi there, everybody. Welcome to uh, We Are Freedom House. Um, I have the privilege of uh, sitting here with uh, our lead pastor, good mate of mine, Ryan Matthews, who leads the church with, uh, with Mel, Melissa's beautiful wife. Uh, my name is Greg, for those of you that don't know. And uh, you know, we're just going to be talking about Freedom House as a church. What is it, what is it about us um, you know, that's unique, that's special? Um, God clearly you know, has something different for every community of believers that is across the globe. And, and we wanted to talk about the culture, really, of Freedom House who we are, what we're about. Um, Rai's going to dive right in. I may interject with a few questions, but uh, really looking forward to discussing this with you, bro. And um, yeah, thanks for the opportunity, man. It's always a treat to hang out with you and talk about these important things. And I think what you touched on right at the beginning, Greg, is really important. Uh, Within God's great plan for humanity and God's people throughout the earth, His church, uh, He does have unique expressions in regions and cities Mm -hmm. uh, reflected in local churches and uh, even when uh, you know god speaks through john to the churches in revelation he speaks to the angel you know and there are different perspectives about that but it it really seems quite clear that uh, god's great power is uniquely uh, reflected in each local church Mm -hmm. people call it a lampstand yeah it's spoken of in revelation as well and whilst it is unique, it doesn't mean we are any better or worse Absolutely. than anyone else, but yeah. we certainly do have a part to play. Mm. And the extent to which we understand our culture, yeah. who we are, what makes us uh, breathe, mm. what gets us up in the morning, so to speak, is, is absolutely criti- critical for us. And for those that are a part of Freedom House and those that would seek to be a part of Freedom House, it's really essential that we understand who we are mm. and what we're on about yeah. that comprises our culture. And, and culture is a, is a commonly used word nowadays. It's a buzzword, but it's an incredibly powerful word. Mm-hmm. And understanding culture is crucial in developing who we are. And it's been said many times, uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. So and we can, we can be super strateg- uh, strategized and strategic. But at the end of the day, there's something that supersedes strategy and surpasses strategy. It's yeah. essentially who we are. Yeah. And there are four major parts uh, to any culture. And this is uh, culture studies throughout the many decades. Uh, there are four major parts. There is a truth. There is understanding of that truth. Yeah. There is personal, thirdly, personal participation mm-hmm. with that truth. Mm-hmm. It's not just understanding it, it's actually personally participating with it and living it out. And finally, number four, when we begin to pass that on and replicate that, we have a mature culture. Good. And that's what we're going for. We're not just wanting to have these ideological truths that we you know, espouse and adhere to. No, yeah. we want to understand them. Yeah. We want all in Freedom House to personally participate them mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. And finally, we, we want to become mature custodians of culture. And I'll come back to that in a moment where we actually impart that to those around us. Yeah. That's when we have a mature culture and that's what we are going after. We want Brilliant, to right. multiply it. Stunning. And you might be looking at uh, joining Freedom House. You've only been around for a while. Maybe it's been a year and this is possibly new, yeah. new to you. Mm-hmm. But we see every person, hey, Greg, as a custodian of culture. Mm -hmm. From the moment people walk into the church and their hearts begin to resonate with who we are. And there is an agreement. There might be slightly differing language. The Holy Spirit has led them to the church. uh, And they begin to participate uh, with the life of the church. Everyone becomes a custodian of Freedom House culture. Yeah. It's not for a select few. Yeah. We are trying to breed a wide ownership Brilliant. so that everybody can participate. Yeah. So whether it's a person who's been in for a week mm. and they're in, their hearts yeah. are alive and singing yeah. with melody and harmony, or whether it's the person that's been right from the beginning, yeah. um, everyone is a custodian of culture. Yeah. That yeah. means everyone can own and participate. Mm. Everybody is here to to really forge the way ahead yeah i wanted to just jump on that quickly because it's such a i just suddenly had a a sense of um uh the 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 concepts around family and that we're a family and you know a newborn is no less a part of the family than an 18 year old absolutely 
You know, so you might have been walking with the Lord for that length of time, or you may have been a part of the church for a great deal of time. But as soon as uh, someone gets born again in our context yeah. or joins the church and they're new to the family, so to speak, yeah. they're in. Yeah, And it's as much, it, it belongs as much to them as it does to any one of us who have been around for a while. 100%, Greg. And the more we breed that culture yeah. of ownership, the more we move away from looking at a select few to be the drivers right, right, yeah, really you know right. so so i want to i want us to speak about four uh, key aspects in understanding our culture mm. number one our mission number two our vision number three our values yeah. and number four the process of how we can live this out uh, as people in freedom house all of that is our culture yes when we reduce it to one alone we start uh, perpetuating an immature entry-level culture but we want to make sure that we're going after all of that so our mission our big idea it's the thing that we live for it's the the reason why freedom house exists yep. and the big idea the macro mm -hmm. mission uh, comes from Jesus come on it is the kingdom of God yes we've used the very simple terminology as it is in heaven which, which is drawn from Matthew 6. Uh, Matthew 6 is the prayer of the believers that yeah. Jesus is explaining to his disciples, but he's clearly expressing that the very mission and mandate of Jesus yeah. uh, in his redemptive work is to bring the kingdom of God mm. as it is in heaven. Yeah, yeah. And it, honestly, I think you would agree with, with me. Oh. Every church's mission should be to see the beautiful life of heaven on, revealed Greg. in the person oh, of Jesus, yes, yes. revealed through every local church. Yeah. That should be every church's mission. Totally we right. just try to keep it simple, but not only simple, we, we try to use a kingdom language yeah. as it is in heaven. Let it be, God. Mm -hmm. Let it be on earth. That's our mission, is the kingdom of God on earth. Yeah. And uh, we're raising up a generation who would live out the kingdom mandate portrayed mm -hmm. in the, the life and the ministry mm -hmm. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So the bigger idea for Freedom House is let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth yeah. as it is in heaven. Yeah. That's our mission. Yeah. And I am pretty certain until Jesus returns, that will always be our mission. And Absolutely. I want to say this. The reason why we are talking about these things is we want to build such a healthy church, mm. such a strong, secure Freedom House, mm. that when our great King and wonderful Savior Jesus returns to sum up all things. He finds Freedom House yeah. counting. Yeah. He finds Freedom House fruitful. Yeah. He finds Freedom House being effective in the earth. Yeah. And to that end, our mission, the thing that makes us uh, who we are, is the mission of Jesus Come on, as it is in heaven. Yes. And you'll hear us talking about uh, the person and the ministry of Jesus if you're looking in mm -hmm. and wanting to make Freedom House home, you, you'll hear us talking about that all the time because it is the fulcrum around which all things That's right. work. Yeah. The mission of Jesus. It's the mission of Freedom House as it is in heaven. But that brings us to the, uh, the vision of the house, yeah. the, the unique expression of that here. And, and Greg, you know, we are convinced that as we unlock hearts, we transform the world. How do we see heaven fill the earth? Mm -hmm. Our vision, everything that we are um, working towards mm. is to unlock every person to transform the world. We are convinced mm. that as we unlock lives, as we unlock people, mm -hmm. there, there is unending, limitless possibility yeah. of the transformative kingdom power right. of God in our lives, yeah. but through our lives, in every sphere of society. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can reach the ends of the earth, yes, by planting churches, and that's a really big deal for, for us. For sure. But we are convinced that that is one way. Yeah. Uh, what we want to do is unlock people, unlock sure. hearts mm -hmm. to transform the world in which they live. So whether it's boardrooms, yeah. whether it's backline surfing, on, whether it's educators in school or people packing shelves in, in their local store, yeah. as we unlock lives, as we unlock hearts, mm, mm. we transform the world. And uh, you'll hear us also um, uh, talking about three things that we keep revolving around with an understanding the, the gospel, identity, authority, and mission. mission. Yep. How do we unlock lives? 
we bring people back to their true intrinsic identity in God. Mm -hmm. Who are we? We are loved sons and daughters. And importantly, we gain our identity from who God is as our Father. So identity is a big part. But then it evolves and moves to the second. Uh, What is it that we carry in the gospel? We're not just born again to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. We are forgiven to be repositioned as adopted sons and daughters to carry the very delegated authority of Jesus. To what end? To be co-rulers in this world. That's right. And and finally, it brings us to the third part, our mission. Mm -hmm. Why are we still alive and partnering together? together? Well, it's very simple. To advance the kingdom of God and to continue the works of Jesus uh, uh, you know, bringing um, the consummation of the age yeah. into being. Yeah. And, and that's how we unlock lives, identity, authority, and mission. Yes. And I mean, we've, we've thrown, uh, I was again reminded of something that you say a lot uh, from the pulpit, and I've heard others mention it as well, but Mission Monday. Uh, mission begins on Monday. You know, the, the, who we are as a church is not about yeah. only the connectedness that we enjoy uh, in one another's homes um, and and you know in the in the the, the venue yeah. where we meet it's starting in the car when I'm yes. taking my kids to to school Absolutely. the next morning after Sunday and it it continues right the way through you know Absolutely. mission and it and healthy mission as you've said right it's got to start with right identity because yeah. when we understand who we are we walk in the authority yeah. that we have that has been delegated and shared with us yeah. um, in Christ Absolutely. and then the mission becomes effective yeah. and it's not just about a Sunday and meeting anymore. exactly and we see Sundays as celebrations Absolutely right. of realigning people yeah both believers and unbelievers yeah. in their intrinsic identity in God yeah. believers are not meant to be bound by religion mm. or loose living yeah. unbelievers need to be brought out of uh, what they think. Yeah, that's they right. I'm made for sin. No, 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 no. You're made to be image bearers. Come on, buddy. And Sunday is a, a moment to realign people because when we wake up on Monday, it's Mission Monday. It's not Stunning. Manic Monday. No, dude. It's Mission Monday. Absolutely you know? right. Yeah. So, so those are the first two parts. The third part is our value system. Yeah. And really our value system, which we're going to be you know, uh, rolling out in a, in a number of different moments like this, is how we want to fulfill the, the grand macro mission mm-hmm. as it is in heaven here on earth and how we want to fulfill the unique expression of unlocking hearts to transform the world. It's how we want to do that together as a family. Mm. A value system is how we play the game. Yeah. It's how we want to partake in all those great things. That's right. And you know, um, people say the end justifies the means. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's really dangerous language. Agreed. Uh, in the kingdom of God, how we do it, how we do the process is just as important as how we get to the goal that yeah. we want to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. And values speak to intrinsically who we want to be along the journey. And we're going to talk about all those beautiful values. And, and you, you must understand, everybody, uh, all of Scripture is filled with a treasure chest mm-hmm. of these beautiful values. Um, but God uniquely breathes on a number uh, within a season to express seasonally what He wants to uh, achieve yeah, and express in us and through us. Yeah. And there are eight for this period mm-hmm. that are really important, you know, from God first, yeah. all the way to going and every beautiful thing in, in between. In between. Mm-hmm. And we'll, we'll explain those uh, as, as these videos and episodes progress, but that's who we are. Uh, and finally, it comes to the process. At the end of the day, Greg, uh, we can wax lyrical about these things and even participate uh, with the vision, with a beautiful value system, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it's not for the few. It's every come single on. one of us Absolutely. owning this. Yeah. Jesus says, come follow me and I will make you fishers of, of humanity. Yeah. And uh, why am I saying this? This process is a journey. Um, our longing is a mature, healthy uh, kingdom culture uniquely reflected within Freedom House, but it's a long journey. Yeah. And even when we are maturing, new people are being added. So there's no pressure to conform. There's no pressure to get it straight away. The thing that we celebrate is journey. We honor journey. And the reason why I've mentioned that is 
The only way that we can truly achieve this is through the process of discipleship. It's through the process of living life together yes. and learning from those who understand the ways of God and the ways of Freedom House yep. better than yep. I do. Yep. And we build interconnected relationships uh, to fashion the gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. uniquely reflected in the house. That's beautiful. And, mm. you know, uh, Paul says to Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2, 1 and 2, he says, My dear son Timothy, what you've uh, heard me say in the company of many witnesses, I want you to fashion in reliable people who will in turn be faithful to pass it on to others. Yeah. And he's talking about the gospel of yeah. the kingdom. Yeah. And that's what we are passionate about. That is not up for grabs. Absolutely Everything right. else Very good, it right. can shift and change uniquely and seasonally around that. But that's what we're passionate about. But look at the process. It's about the Paul's imparting to the Timothys. It's about the Sarah's imparting to the Mary's. Mm -hmm. The list goes on. Yeah. It's about parenting. We can use the language of discipleship, yes, but it's actually parenting. It's about mums and dads who carry the heart of the gospel of the kingdom uniquely reflected within the house, yes, mm -hmm. but take it upon themselves to grab someone and say, I want to fashion the beauty of the kingdom and who we are as Freedom House. I want to teach you. Yeah. Come into my life. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to see how it's expressed powerfully in real time. Yeah. And I want to uh, participate with you. Yeah. And so the process is one of discipleship. It's a process of uh, every single one of you understanding that you are custodians of the kingdom culture. Good. As well as, a, as secondly, under that, a freedom house culture. But it's, you don't have to be a leader. No. To impart this. Absolutely not. Yeah. It's about taking on a mature understanding. This is my family. Mm. I remember when a dear friend of ours got radically saved recently. And he said to me, mm -hmm. you know, I'll do anything for you. Yeah. And I said to him, the best thing that you can do is the yeah. next time you come and be a part of uh, who we are as Freedom House. That's right. Own the house. Come on, Ryan. Th think of yourself like Greg or Ryan or... Or, or Nick, or Taryn, or Melissa, or Brent, or Jen, or wh whoever mm -hmm. it is, yeah. Basil, the list goes on. No, own it. Don't wait. Participate and impart the beauty of the gospel and the value system of the house mm. to people around us. And we, I want to say we all submit to this. Yeah. Melissa and I lead the team. Yeah. Sure. But I participate. And the extent to which I participate, I get authority to live this out. Yes. In the house. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's defining and establishing the culture. Any, anything else? Well, I just, the beauty of this for me is, is, is that anyone and everyone can love. Yeah. You know, you, you made mention of our close mate who, who came to you and said, you know, I'm in. <laughs> and, you know, for, for lack of a better expression, that, you know, he was just, I'm sold out to this. Yeah. There's no, you know, we're not talking about you have to have some sort of, track record of great theological training. No. We, we, we know instinctively, perhaps, especially once we come into the faith, but love becomes something that, that, that we recognize, we know how to receive it, we, yeah. we know how to give it. Perhaps in some cases it's not always um, uh, as defined in Scripture, but certainly love, people know what it is to be cared for, people know how to yeah. care for others. And we invite every man woman and child when they enter Absolutely. into our space yeah. and when they come and say i'm in i'm a part of this I'm, we like it. own it love the people like they're your flesh and blood 100 percent. that that underpins our it's discipleship a, it's it, family man. It's, it's it's as simple as that there's no phd required it's amazing right it's so simple and everyone's qualified as a result yeah qualified by christ yes in his finished work come on to man. participate with advancing the kingdom of god and and i i must say uh it's such a privilege to be a part of Absolutely. Freedom House, yeah, I know. you know, <laughs> and I, I know these are early days, but we're looking forward to the future. And we, we want to say to all of you, yeah. whether you've been around from the beginning or um, the last year or recently added to the fold, come on the journey. Yeah. Every single one of you are custodians of the culture yeah. of the kingdom and the culture uniquely reflected Absolutely. in Freedom House. Come on the journey with us. Participate, as yeah. you were saying. Roll up your sleeves. Own the family. Own the house. Mm. You know, yeah. breed it. And uh, it's such an exciting thing. We want to build 
and be a part of building with Jesus. He yeah. builds the church. Yeah, yeah. Uh, part of building such a a fruitful, a healthy space mm. that will be around when Jesus returns. Come on, man. And Absolutely. you have a part to play. Yeah. Come on that journey with, with us. That. It's Absolutely. glorious. It's messy. Yeah. We're certainly not trying to be perfect. <laughs> no. You know, we're missing a lot of things, but we are growing together. Yeah. And um, yeah. we, we want you to come on that journey with us. Yeah. Wonderful. Amen, man. And uh, thanks for listening in and, and tuning in and watching this uh, video. It's a privilege, right? Thanks yeah. for, for the, you know, um, outlining some of what makes us who we are. But uh, yeah, be sure to check in the next video. Uh, we've got more coming for you. And uh, yeah, we love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. Cheers, guys. All I know is I'll buy.